Welcome back to the shop. Today we're installing the first modification on the SQ5. We got another part that I'm actually really pumped about arriving just a little bit later today. So we're gonna get that installed as soon as possible as well. So I hope you guys will stick around for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Big shout out again to 034 Motorsport for the partnership. Really pumped to see what we can do with this SQ5 together. The part we're installing today is the transmount brace or transmount insert. I don't want to jinx myself before I even start the process, but it shouldn't be too bad of an installation. At least I hope not, because I got to go pick my wife up in a couple of hours, and I got to get it done before that. We don't need much for this installation, which I can appreciate. It says you need a 10 millimeter triple square to remove the factory bracket, but as you can see, I just use a 5 16 Allen key. Because the factory bolts aren't in there all that tight, it works just fine. If they're seized in there for whatever reason, you may have a little bit of trouble and you probably want to use the proper tool, but a 5 16 Allen key seemed to fit just fine and I was able to, to remove them with no trouble. little WD-40 or some silicone spray on the insert itself will just help you slide it into place a little bit easier. Zero three four provides you with a couple of M8 bolts and some blue Loctite, so no worries there. Well, that's a super easy installation. It takes you longer to get the car jacked up in the air than it does to actually install the part. Never see me or hear me complain about installations like that, I'll tell you that much. I really love these kind of parts though because they're pretty inexpensive, but they actually have a pretty significant impact on how the car feels and handles on the road. But I'm gonna get this car down on the ground now and get it out on the road so we can actually test it out and see if there's any additional noise or vibration, which there shouldn't be according to 034 Motorsport. With the Stage 1 tune we already have from 034 Motorsport on this SQ5, the shifts already feel pretty darn crisp and quick, but I'm excited to feel, hopefully, fingers crossed, a little bit of additional firmness, a little bit more snappy feel between shifts. So let's get this thing down and test it out. I'm sitting at idle. I don't feel any additional vibration or anything of that nature. But sometimes when you add things like this, like rear subframe bushing collars, for example, or transmission mount inserts, and you're adding some rigidity to the drive line, the, in the intention is to remove some of that slack, some of that slop, and it makes shifts more crisp and firm. It helps you put power down to the ground more efficiently and more effectively. But the, the drawback or the negative sometimes can be that you have that additional rigidity and some of that vibration um, you know that the engine creates can be transferred into the cabin you can hear it you can feel it and that's not always good shifting pretty smoothly just under normal driving conditions normal acceleration onto 45 mile 45 mile an hour road no weird noises, no weird feelings, feels pretty good. In this case though, with the 034 Motorsport transmission mount insert, idle, seems very smooth, both in park and in gear, that's important to note. And again, shifting through the gears, just normal acceleration, normal driving mode, being a dual purpose vehicle, this is important. It's very smooth, nothing out of the ordinary. We need to find a closed road around here so I can do a little bit of a pull and see if we can actually tell if there's a difference between shifts. But if you guys have been following along, you know that I don't want to hurt the comfortability, the daily driving characteristics of this vehicle because it is my wife's daily driver. So if I were to do a bunch of crazy stuff, make it super rigid, uh, you know, feel nasty, sound terrible, my wife's going to hate it. She's not going to be very happy with me. So this is good. I'm happy so far. Okay. 
tell you what though guys that stage one tune ECU TCU tune from 034 Motorsports makes a massive difference just by itself if you guys remember I drove that stock SQ5 not too long ago when I was looking for a vehicle for my wife and I thought that was pretty crispy but comparing the two side by side whoa major difference Manual mode, shifts feel really good, really crisp, even even better, if you can believe it, than they did before installing this part. Um, but I haven't got a really rip on it yet. Hold on, let's see. And that 3-4 shift feels so good. really is the best type of modification though because it's one that you know is working you know it's doing what it's supposed to do you can feel it working but it's not one your wife or girlfriend is even going to notice when she's riding in or driving the vehicle downshifts are nice too just a reminder guys we still got to get those 034 lowering springs installed on the thing and we got another really exciting part coming today that we're going to get installed sooner than later pretty straightforward guys can't get much more simple than that a few basic hand tools 10, 15, 20 minutes of installation time and you got it handled. I love parts like that. Easy installation, good looking part, less than a hundred bucks and you can actually feel the difference. So my initial impression, pretty positive one. Of course, we'll give you a long-term review down the road at some point, but we got some parts in the garage. We got a couple of parts on the way we need to get installed in this SQ5. So if you guys are interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing. Appreciate the support up to this point. I appreciate you watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.